Have you ever had a point in your life where circumstances were out of your control and you were going through multiple emotions, possibly fear, um, confusion, frustration, um, things were in a situation where you had to either remove yourself or you had to restrain something else. Safety, you know, the big number one concern at most jobs, they always try to have a chart showing uh, we have, you know, 110 days without a safety incident or, you know, your family. You, you try and do the best for your children. You, you try and teach them that, you know, don't touch the stove. It's hot. You know, you could burn you or don't cross the road by yourself. You know, you hold their hands. There's different things that we do when it comes to safety. So what does the Bible say about safety? Well, in Job 11, 18, Job 11, 18, it says, you will be secure because there is hope. You will look about you and take your rest in safety. And then in Proverbs 133, it says, But whoever listens to me will live in safety and be at ease without fear or harm. That doesn't necessarily mean that something won't something bad isn't going to happen to you. Because there's all this prosperity teaching going on that if you just think about this, you think about this, and then it's just going to happen. Or if you just you know do these things, everything's going to be fine, and you're not going to go through Christian persecution. Oh no, you're not going to have that. That's a falsehood. There are there's persecution, but in the midst of this too, you can still be safe. Yes, there's a time where persecution happens and bad things can happen to you, but there's also a time where what if somebody is coming at you? And they are aggressive verbally or physically. You still have charge of your own emotions. You still have charge of your actions. You understand? And depending on what you do next can decide on your safety or not. I make this video because I know there's many people in, uh, that, that talk to me and talk to others who are concerned about the economy or they're concerned about finances and all sorts of different things. And I have to tell you, you must rest in Jesus Christ to provide you safety, to give you the right answers, to give you the words to speak, to give you the wisdom to know how to think, and then give you the wisdom to give you the tools in your hands on what to do next. This has been James C. Byte Safety. God bless.